This property was entrusted to my grandmother. The individual who lighted the house of fire, he ran out the house about... And, uh, and who was he? He is... Um, what was he to? He's my brother, my elder brother. Okay, the brother of the 48-year-old man who lived in the house which was gutted by fire on Sunday night. He said his brother lived by himself in the two-story concrete and wooden house. But he was mentally challenged and no one wanted to help. He gives everyone up a hard time in the neighborhood, right? Um, last night, just like that, he came out in the road shouting. He wanted to go to jail, he wanted to go to jail. He set the house on fire. He packed two bags and he set the house on fire. And he came out in, in the road here and was just with a knife in his hand saying he wanted to go to jail. When the police came, they said, well, they know he's mental and they really can't do him anything. And that's been the story for the last 20 years with Dane and the police and the magistrate. The neighbors say he was always making threats to burn his house and theirs. He said uh, he, ha he has some houses to burn down or around here. And when that time is, he will do what he has to do. But it seems it didn't end there. He slapped my father on occasion in the, in the Princess Town police station, right? We have senior police living in this area. They turn their head and don't want to get involved, right? As the lady said, whole night you can't sleep. He pong in, he pelt and thing around. So it led, all that led up to this. He said his brother would get help from the hospital, but when he returned, nothing would change. He wants those in authority to see how best they can help, because he's tried many things and nothing has worked. It was only 92, he burned down the house, my father's house, right? Nothing came out of that. He beat people on the road, a lot of old people, he had advantage. If you walk from here to the junction, you can interview people, they'll tell you all their plights of this guy. The police as well, well, Accustomed to him, they themselves don't want nothing to do with him because they said their hands tied. I used to blame the police, but now I understand their plight. He said his brother was diagnosed with mental problems at the age of 18. Rishi Harinanan, TTT News.